Hi, my name is Lauren Mulholland, and I'm very excited to be the music teacher for general music and chorus at Parsons Elementary this year. I'm going to show you around the classroom a little bit. In the music room, you'll notice that we do have a carpet this year where nine students are able to sit three feet apart, and the remaining students sit in chairs also spaced out. This year in music, students will be using many instruments such as shakers, drums, and even xylophones. There's plenty of space in the classroom to move around and make music, both in a circle and in their assigned seats. During music, students can expect to spend 40 minutes moving to music, listening to music, reading and writing music, and most importantly, making music. In my teaching, I try to appeal to all types of learners, visual, aural, kinesthetic. Students can expect to engage with music that is both rigorous and exciting to them. I believe that music is a way to help support students in their language and literacy skills. Music helps students engage with language in a new way and can support them in learning a new language or their first language. All students are capable of learning to read and write music. Music literacy is a big focus of my curriculum, whether it is kindergartners learning about high and low sounds or fifth graders learning how to read and write music on the five line staff. Parents often wonder how they can support their student in learning music at home. The most important thing you can do is get your child singing, whether it's to the radio in the car or asking them to share a song with you from music class, singing is the best way for students to grow their skills. This year due to COVID, we are only able to sing if we are six feet apart, which means less singing is happening in the music classroom than in a normal year. It's extra important that you ask your students what they're learning and see if they can sing a song for you from our classes. If you have songs that you grew up singing, share them with your child. Teach them a song that you remember your parents singing with you, or even a song you sang at summer camp. It's so important to share your music with your child. Finally, I'm sure many of you are wondering about performance opportunities for your student. We are still figuring out our concert opportunities and procedures in a way that can keep all students safe while allowing them to show off what they have learned in music. More information is coming. Please continue to check the school website and your email for more information. Again, my name is Ms. Mulholland and I look forward to meeting you in person at some time in the future.